Yeah, thank you very much, uh, Leska and Corlin. First of all, I want to thank uh, Deputy Ryan and Deputy uh, Martin uh, for bringing forward this motion uh, here this evening. I'm going to focus my comments in specifically uh, Can Corla uh, in respect of the uh, aspect that the motion uh, pays uh, attention to in terms of the vitally important public transport projects such as the Dublin Navin railway line uh, that it particularly cites. And the Minister is very well aware of my continued um, references to this vitally important piece of infrastructure uh, that is contingent for my constituency. Two weeks ago, Minister, two weeks ago, I stood on the platform in Navin Central, where thousands of people should be gathering each morning to allow them to avail of a viable public transport facility from Navin to Dublin, in a town of 40,000 people. And I stood there on an empty platform with the pigeons, where you had promised three years ago Three years ago, and I took you at your word, three years ago you promised to come down and stand with me and at least examine the viability of that particular project. And I'm still waiting for you, an hour down the road, to come down and engage me on that particular project. Some weeks back, I met with the Irish Rail Infrastructure Team, very glad to do so, who actually were in situ ten years ago, the same personnel very professional people uh, who, as they said to me, we are in the business of building railway lines. We want to see those kind of projects happen and we want to see the government's help in making that happen. And I would ask you to please, on behalf of the people in Navan, Kilmessen and on Shockland and the wider area, to engage with me for that crucial piece of infrastructure. Because when you look at the situation where you have over 40,000 people, and we have prioritised that in our own Fianna Fáil plan that we've put forward on behalf of Deputy Troy as a crucial piece of infrastructure, not just from a transport point of view, but from an economic point of view as well, because thousands of people are dependent on that, on easy access to the city. There used to be an advertisement on radio, Navin, one hour from Dublin. You'd be lucky to get from Navin to Dunshockland now in that time. And that is just so destroying for the people and the families that are involved in this particular area, a county of 200,000 people who need to access the city for jobs. And Minister, our development plan is going to be published in September. And that is going to be a crucial part. The development of that particular railway line is going to be a crucial part of that. Now, I do not doubt your sincerity. I don't doubt your commitment to seeing good public transport because I know you believe in that. But I would ask you for action. You wrote so many times with eloquence in the Sunday Independent on issues pertaining to Bosser and to Irish Rail, to so many other things. And I'm speaking to you as somebody who worked for the Independent Group myself for over a decade. That words are one thing, and I know the power of words. But it is matching those words with action now. And I'm asking you, and I'm pleading with you, that you would engage with members here from Westmeath, from Cavan, from Cork, and in particular from the people in Nav and the people in Meath that are citing the motion here tonight, to at least give me the decency to honour that commitment you gave me in autumn 2016 and let us deliver that crucial piece of infrastructure for the people in Navin and Meath. Thank you very much, Ken Corla.